Pick up from the Florida Mayhem with great support from the team. Oh, but what a kill. it isn't there this time as Chiron gets hacked. Unable to swift step away. Yeah, no swift step in a pulse bomb for Speedy. Lobs it on the ground. All good. Anti nade onto someone, forcing him all the way back. Only a single healer now for the Florida Mayhem. Chong has just spawned. He can swift step back to the rest of his team, but will it be enough? Check me in the background here. Acting like a screensaver currently, not doing all too much. Had to back away. Maybe got a pulse bomb in his hand to land on a frontline member, maybe. But uh, looks like Toronto Defiant ready to press the issue. Chong swift stepping, suzuing, and now Kaluge. There you go, that's what you want to see. Chorong dead. There's a bob on the point. Even a beat coming through from OG. He does his speedy Kaluge and himself, of course. Though Kaluge kind of taken over this first point. Just showing that he's not to be messed with, but someone still holding it down. Managed to earn himself annihilation. And now the rest of the Toronto Defiant members are trapped on the wrong side of the point right now, having to deal with someone. I believe that was a pulse bomb onto Ultraviolet, just reduced the healing for the Toronto Defiant, so it's been way closer than you would have think, and someone Ooh. recognizes that. He pops the Annihilation just to keep the fight going because he knows the Defiant aren't going to have the healing to sustain through that fight. They've got a lot, a lot in their bank right now. Hydron with this EMP, he's, look at him, he's stalking Chorong. EMP hits two, Chorong instantly dying. Checkmate is also hacked and gets Ooh. tracked down by Speedly. Decent tracking forces the recall, and with Checkmate at two HP, he has to back away to the Mega Health pack, but the back Backline just folded Dead again. like a bit of paper. OG and Ultraviolet had no chance against someone in Checkmate's uh, soul, uh, sorry, someone at Merit's dive. That's not a good look. Toronto Defiant with 45 seconds on the clock, only have two ticks. Even time again of rosters that have great players but aren't able to perform that level. And when you keep losing matches, it's difficult to get out of that hole. I mean, it feels like they're writing a, writing a whole damn cookbook right now with the amount of stuff that they're kind of rolling out on. We've seen Farah Mercy from them. Of course, we know someone's very good on D.Va. Uh, the Ramantra as well held down first for so, so long, just on his own too. Coordination from this team is just absolutely stellar and they've got the star power to back it up. Rough stuff. I mean, wh what do you want to see from the Toronto Defiant here, Scott? And that was a great fight by the Defiant, only using the sound barrier to just keep themselves alive, and they do win the team fight. With Kaluge going down at the very end to Merit on the high ground, they're not able to dislodge the backline from the mayhem from this high ground. So they're going to utilize this nano boost to get there, and you can see Kaluge preparing to get up. He's trying. He, he do be trying. <laughs> trying very hard. He do be trying. I mean, I mean Merit's also got a bob, right? You can throw that on point. Oh, oh my! Mess with the best, die like the rest, Speedly. Nice headshot by Merritt. And Ultraviolet's up on the high ground alone. Bob available for Merritt, does end up getting it, and he's on the high ground too. Oh, gee, <laughs> running straight into the Bob. Nice nano boost on Kaluge, but your backline, Toronto, it's already dead. Some of the best Bob value I've ever seen. Was that three from Bob? Finally doing something after all these years. But hey, Ultra what the hell? He's been doing hey, so well, He Eons, tries. What are he you tries saying? his best. What are you yeah. He tries his best. Just for Bob. <laughs> How often do you see him get that 3K? And ever since we've seen this new transition, as we watch Merit just do right. so much okay. damage, and Look this at is OG. the Bob. Look at Bob go. Boom. There's oh. one for Bob. He's super him. Bob. That's the perfect spot. It is. It's kind of crazy, actually. <laughs> it's. If you can make your Bob land there every single fight, I mean, that <laughs> is just dumb stupid. Really brawling too much. Oh. There's not an actual fight going on, but someone says, I'm not going to allow you to take this room, pops the Annihilation, and runs them down. Yeah, I mean, just sign this guy up for the UFC already. Look at him go. <laughs> the <laughs> he's just, he just doesn't oh care. My. Someone just doesn't care at this point. Like, he will chase you to a spawn door, so no worries. A little jig to get, you know, the little nerves off. I mean, at the end of the day, the Florida Mayhem, they're in such a good spot because they know Toronto to fight completely switched their entire lineup. So they know they haven't got ults. And this is the problem with switching so late in the game, Jack. You said they're probably going to get a round of ults. They might not. With only one, 20 maybe. seconds remaining, if they take a long drawn out fight, they will come up. But guess what? The same thing can be said for the Florida Mayhem. All right, hack, dive. Hydron setting up behind RuPaul. He gets the hack off, but OG's already dead. A rush available for Ultraviolet. Can they find any value from it? I mean, there's going to be a rush available from the Florida Mayhem. Spawns are coming in. OG will be able to get back just in time, but with five seconds to go, looking rather worse for wares. Toronto Defiant right now.
Yeah, they're in desperation. Kitsune from Ultraviolet. Yeah, Kitsune Rush on the point. Kalouz tries to get in there. Someone pops out Nemesis form, going a little crazy, pushing the entirety of Toronto Divine off that point. Overtime still in session. Is Shaymo with the Pulse Bomb is rounding, trying to get some stick value, and he does. A lot of damage on Kalouz actually forces Hydron to back away too. A beat, a blade, a sound barrier, everything used from the Toronto Divine to try and crack this point open. And it was just a matter of time before they got those ults online. They used every single thing in the tank apart from that Prime race to open this one up, but the Florida Mayhem are going to come back with an Annihilation, Scott. Yeah, someone's coming through. He's gotten it up and he's running Over them down. Time. Oh, no. they just chased him off. They just chased him off the point with the Annihilation. The Florida Mayhem have done it. Every single thing in the old bank for the Toronto Defiant was flung at that fight, but it was just one man. It was one someone to take them out. And it was that Annihilation, the Romantra play from someone to scare them away from that point. A 3-0 for the Florida Mayhem.